yeah sheen you can take my money it's all right you can take my money it is okay i hope i am in focus because i'll be very upset if i record this whole video and i'm not in focus but anywho hey guys welcome back to my channel it is me Pumesha Ngase, and thank you so much for watching this video i truly appreciate to support you guys and yeah if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do subscribe and do follow me on my Instagram, which is mpome underscore shangase. And yeah, I have all of that on the screen for you. So anyways, today, you guys, we are trying some sheen makeup. I did a haul, uh, which you should have seen on Wednesday's um, video. But anyways, yeah, I did a Sheen makeup haul. That was my first time buying makeup from Sheen. And when I swatched um, some of the makeup, I'm not gonna lie, I was very impressed. So obviously we are gonna put this makeup to the test and to see if it is as good as Sheen claims it to be. So you know that on my channel, I do do makeup tutorials, but I've never done any makeup tutorial using Sheen makeup. So this is our very first one. So I am hoping that this is gonna go really, really well. So let's jump straight into the video. So yeah, you guys, we have primed our face and I also decided just to do my brows because I didn't get any brow products from um, Shein, so I don't wanna um, waste your time, you watching me do my brows on camera, so I decided to do that off camera. So we are gonna jump straight into the foundation that we got, and I did a whole unboxing of these in my uh, Wednesday video. So I've got these two foundations, it's the She Glam Complexion Pro, long lasting breathable matte foundation and i got two shades now the reason why i got two shades is because i wasn't sure which shade is going to be like my perfect match so the first shade that we got is cappuccino and we also got mahogany so i'm just gonna see which one but i'm thinking i think this one will be more my shade so i'm going to start off with this one give it a nice shake i'm just going to try and match it here to my chest and we've got a new mic you guys we are working with this mic so we are going to just see if this is our perfect shade Yeah, what do you guys think? It's not that bad, eh? So I think we're gonna go in with this one. Um, I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't even read the review, the reviews. I didn't even read the reviews, so I'm not sure if this oxidizes over time or not. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be doing a wear test. Uh, but if you guys want me to do a wear test, then just do let me know, and I will do that. But for today, we are just trying this foundation and seeing how good it is on our skin. So I'm just gonna go in with a nice generous amount. Oh, I think we didn't do so bad with the shade match. I don't think it's bad at all. Guys, this hair is just <laughs> not giving. <laughs> This hair is just not giving. I don't know what's going on there. Just don't mind that, please. Just pretend it's not there. So we are going to blend this with our foundation brush. Blend it out. Wow. This is such a good match. So I'm definitely shade mahogany. I love how this feels on my skin, you guys. And look how full coverage it is. I just went in with a nice generous amount, but it covered like most of my marks over there. I'm impressed, Sheen. I am impressed. I'm gonna put the price of this foundation on screen, you guys, so you can see how much it was. But I have to say, I am honestly and truly impressed. This, I can safely say, I'm going to put it up there with like your top foundation in terms of application. 
in terms of durability i'm not sure i will obviously have to do like a weight test which i'm actually thinking i am going to do now seeing as this applied so well i am actually quite interested to see how durable and just the longevity of this foundation if it's actually going to last for a couple of hours you know wow i don't know if you guys see this but do you see this do you see how smooth and flawless my skin is and that was just like like what three pumps or two pumps yeah sheen you can take my money it's all right you can take my money it is okay right so the next thing we are going to move to right now is concealer now for concealer i got two concealers as well i got uh walnut and honeycomb so the reason why i got two is because one is for highlighting and the other one is for contouring so let me just open these obviously you guys i showed you these in my previous video so we are going to go right ahead i think this might be a little bit too yellow so i'm just gonna put a little bit just to be on the safe side <laughs> that doesn't look like a little bit but anywho so let's blend that out and guys please excuse me if you see me looking down i'm actually looking at my mirror on my table because obviously i do need to see what i'm doing <laughs> off the bat this is actually blending out really really well it's not shifting my foundation or anything like that and it's actually full coverage oh wow that yeah, boy is a fora and all these places where you spend a lot of money on makeup i they're not gonna see me again they are never gonna see me again i am getting my makeup from sheen period <laughs> so look at how easily this is blending out you guys i'm not even pressing that hard i'm doing the bare minimum and it's just it's not spreading all over the show it's actually going where i am actually directing it to go which is so good i love this and the shade is correct as well it did the things oh my guys and understand it now we are going to move on to setting this concealer now i'm not really sure how this is going to work out because i've got two powders here let me just find the powder that i'm looking for so i've got this setting powder which is that one it says she glammed bake glow setting powder and i got this in the shade light brown now this i'm scared of doing so obviously guys you would have seen in my unboxing video that's the powder this is where it could go all wrong because you know when you put the wrong setting powder or it's just the wrong formula and it just ruins your makeup and you look like a ghost so let's see and i'm not going to be baking you guys i'm just applying this just to set the concealer i'm not baking i can't really tell if this is <laughs> working or not i think i'll be able to tell if i take a picture and if there's any like flashback or anything like that then i can say it works or not but for now everything looks smooth it looks in place uh so yeah it's not leaving any white residue so i'm quite pleased with that and you know you guys we don't bake anymore because there's just no need no need so moving right along we are going to move on to should we do eyes i think we need to do eyes or do you want to do concealer i'm saying concealer contour okay let's just finish with our base so for contour we're going to use this one which i can definitely tell that it is way too light so we are not using that one <laughs> excuse me we already know that the concealers work really well so it's fine if we don't use this shade so for contour i'm going to use this mac palettes right here now we are going to be moving on to our eyes which is like my favorite part and i did like a whole swatch and everything of this eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna prime my eyelids and we are going to get into creating okay so the first color that we are going to go into now listen i don't have a, a specific look that i'm going for i'm just thinking i know i definitely want to use the matte and the shimmery colors i know that for a fact but the thing is i'm not sure oh excuse me i'm not sure what look 
to go for because all these colors are so oh god i don't know okay so we are going to start off with let's go green we are going to do dim stems which is this one right here so we're going to place that on our crease and i made sure that i'm using clean brushes because i want to give this look a fair chance <sighs> You guys, you can see exactly what I'm doing. I think this is like the fourth time I'm going into this palette and into the pan, but look at how pigmented this is. Like, are you joking? Are you joking? You guys know exactly what I'm gonna be doing after this video. I am going to the Sheen app and you know what before i actually sat down and did this video i was feeling like uh, but now i am like how but why didn't i get up and do this earlier on because your girl could have been feeling so happy a long time ago <gasps> mm -mm, guys la, 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 if you don't take anything from this video take this please go and grab yourself some eyeshadow palettes from sheen ha ha <laughs> this means i can actually get more makeup but because i'm not going to be paying that much for makeup i'm not going to be paying a lot of coins for uh, like foundation and eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna be paying the bare minimum that means I can have more so I think that's why I'm more happy so anyways we are going to blend this out using this is this matte yes using this yellow color over here which is called love and lemon and we are going to use this to buff out the color that we just put down ah, yeah, yeah. Shin is joking, you guys. I don't know what just happened there, but my camera just switched off and it's got this light. I don't know what's going on, so I'm gonna quickly have to speed this up, you guys. So what I was saying is I just wanna see how these two matte shades are actually going to blend with one another because if the formula is good, this should blend out easily without actually lifting the first shade that we put down. So let's see okay you know what this camera is just against me honestly today it doesn't want me to be great so we just literally switched off and i think it was overheating so i just let it cool down while it was cooling down i just went and i finished this i not finished it but i did the same thing that i did to this eye to this other eye basically so now we are going to move on to our shimmery colors now listen i'm not really sure what colors i want to use here because i just want to use all of these shimmery colors i want to use this one which is something blue i also want to use white knight i basically want to use all of them that's what i'm trying to say but i i can't so i'm just gonna have to i don't know which ones to choose okay let's go with good as gold we are going to go with good as gold and we are going to place that on our inner corner and the thing is, I'm trying to create a look which I haven't done before. Do you see what I'm seeing? You guys, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm actually, I'm genuinely so happy about how this is working out. So the next one I'm gonna go into, I feel we need a little bit more color. I'm gonna go to Melon Dramatic, which is this one because I just feel there's just too much yellow. So I just wanna use a different color. And then we are going to go into Pretty Penny, this one. Tell me that this is not a look. Tell me that this is not a look. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. And Olivia's just finished with this eye and then I'll do this one off camera. So the next thing that we are going to do is I just want to place a white knight, which is that. 
in the tear duct right there right you guys this is where we are at so far and i don't want to lie this is a very good place to be at because we are glowing we are glowing so now we are going to move on to um press powder now i got two powders unfortunately both of these are not my correct shade so i got this in this is not the chic glam range but it is i don't know how you pronounce this name honestly but it's that powder and i got this in number two which is definitely not my shade and i feel like my eyelash is lifting i don't know what's going on Def definitely not my shade so and then i got this one and the packaging the she glam range is oh it's definitely at the top so this is the she glam light through oil control prop powder powder and that's the case the packaging i did all of this you guys i showed you all of this in the whole video and that is the shade obviously not my shade i just wish that this was my shade because to put this in my bag and use it to touch up my makeup throughout the day would have been so good so then we are going to finish up our eyes so for the eyes i'm just going to go in with that dark green that i used earlier and i'm just going to place that um on the bottom lash and i'm just going to use this brush right now we're going to move on to lips and for lips you guys i got this matte allure mini liquid lipstick set and those are the shades and i think we can do a nice nude lip today so i'm gonna go into we might actually mix two shades so i'm gonna go into these two so i'm gonna start off with i'm not sure actually <laughs> because both of them are so good so i think i want to line my lips I'm gonna lightly in line with this pencil because this pencil is actually quite dark. I need to get myself a nice light brown lip liner. Okay, I hope this does the trick. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is Macaroon. And I'm gonna place that everywhere. And these glide on so nicely on the lips. Mind you, my lips are cracking. I actually need to exfoliate my lips but let's see how this goes. Mm, mm. I love the fact that these glide on like a sheer lip stain, but they dry matte. So we're gonna go in just in the middle and we're gonna place this one, which is the shade, I can't see. I can't see you guys, topaz. And we're going to place this one right in the middle so you guys this is our final look oh i absolutely love what we created okay the hair is just all over the show but we are not focusing on the hair in this video we are focusing on the makeup listen this makeup is insane i'm gonna give you my honest honest opinion you guys I absolutely love the foundation, I love the lipstick, I love the concealer, um, the eyeshadow. Uh, the only thing I was a bit disappointed about was the pressed powder, but obviously that was my mistake. I picked up the wrong shade. So I am going to be going back to the Sheen app and I'm going to be picking out what I think will be the correct shade for me since now I know that this is the incorrect shade. So fingers crossed that I actually am able to pick out the right shade. But other than that, you guys, I loved how the eyeshadow was easy to apply, how it was easy to blend. I mean, I didn't have to do that much. Honestly, I did not have to do a lot. And the concealer is definitely, now what I normally struggle with is uh, just not having that white, you know, as much as you want to highlight, but you don't want it to be like so in your face, if you get what I mean. But I just feel that this is just smooth and flawless. And uh, even though I've got a full face of beads, it still looks quite 
I'm not, I'm not gonna say natural, but you know what I mean. <sighs> I'm impressed. I am impressed. So for me, sheen, makeup, definitely a 10 out of 10. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, just don't mind my lips there. I told you it's not from the lipstick. It's actually, it was like this before I applied the lipstick. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, you guys. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed trying this makeup from Sheen. Definitely a lot more videos coming up with me testing out um, new products like from Sheen. I am so happy we can add this to our channel. So yeah, anyways you guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Do all the things that need to be done to get the word out about this video. And don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you on my next one. Bye bye. <laughs> Can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going.